Back in 2010, I attended uh, what is was once known as Humboldt State University. It's now Cal Poly Humboldt. And I uh, wandered around when I wasn't studying and looked around the Arcata Marsh and I found all these old tracks just sitting here. Some of them have been turned into trails for the marsh. And there was these old railroad crossing signs left behind as a remembrance of the history of the Northwestern Pacific Railroad, which ran lumber down from Northern California all the way down to Petaluma. And connected up with the tracks of the San Francisco Bay Area. It's now just sitting here and rotting, slowly sinking into the mud. Tracks, ties, road signs, everything. They couldn't maintain the railroad simply because the it was too hard to repair the storm damage that kept occurring every year. Finally, the bridge across the Eel River was wiped out, and that was the end of that. They couldn't maintain the uh, rail lines. And they were just simply abandoned. What hasn't been dug up and restored into trail has been left behind as a reminder of history. A lot of it's been vandalized. As you can plainly see. But I always wondered, where is the key to that padlock? And the tracks stretch from Blue Lake to Eureka, all the way down to Petaluma. And a lot of them have just been covered over or simply are stripped out. Bridges left intact for people to walk across at the Arcata Marsh. It actually just costs too much money to pull all this stuff out, unless there's a real reason to do it, because it's such an economically depressed area in Eureka. And in Eureka, it's, the tracks just stay there, the railroad crossing signs stay there, and the cars, the old ore cars, stay there, and so do the locomotives. They've been vandalized over the years, smashed a piece, the windows have been smashed in, shot, spray painted. They're all boarded up now so that people can't get inside and do more vandalism, but everything that they could grab from the outside has been torn off, hoses, cables, even the little service modules were not immune. So there's no reason to uh, move these things because it would cost too much money. And there's no tracks available to take them and tow them away. They'd have to be lifted out, put on a barge, and shipped down to Bay Area. And you can imagine what the cost for that is. So they just sit here and decay over time, year after year. More of a curiosity now and a languishing part of old history. These photos were taken in 2005. But from what I understand, in 2022, nothing has changed much. Paints fading, and the trains remain. But there are plans, some of them are being put into motion right now to change the tracks into a rail trail for bicyclists. When that happens, the tracks will again see life as tourists come through and ride their bicycles all the way up to Eureka, maybe. That would be an awesome thing. But the roadbed will remain just in case someday somebody finds a way to rebuild the trains and bring train traffic all the way from the Bay Area back to uh, Eureka. Until then, the bicycles will take over.